Well, nearly $35 million. That is how much money the city of Buffalo dipped into its reserves this year. The Comptroller made this announcement saying the taxpayers need to know how city leaders are actually managing public funds. Two on your side's Emily Lampa looked into those numbers and she has the city's response as we continue to hold people in power accountable. Over the course of the last two budgets, uh, we have dipped into the fund balance. And we do that knowingly. Kevin Helfer is the co-chair of the mayor's fiscal sub-cabinet. He's responding to the comptroller's claims that the city of Buffalo is making a habit of dipping into its reserves. This year, it ate up about $34.5 million of the city's safety net, leaving just about $6 million for the coming year. Using more fund balance this year than ever before in the six years that I've been here, is problematic and it needs to be addressed uh, by the city of Buffalo. We reached out to the mayor himself, but it's Helfer who answered our questions. What does that do? Balances our budgets, allows us to keep taxes low or lower taxes, spurs economic development. Going forward, we know that we're going to have to be very diligent, make sure we tighten our belt. Mark Schroeder blames this year's massive budget gap on less than expected revenue and increased spending, such as overtime for the fire department. What's being done and how will that fix the overtime issues? Well, whenever you staff, you're staffing at a much lower salary with new hires. For instance, in fire, when people retire, they go out as a regular firefighter with pay at $70,000. We hire at $40,000. Yeah, thirty thousand dollars. We're putting a class of sixty-five in. It's almost two million dollars in savings right there. Plus, it reduces your overtime. So, what does this mean for taxpayers? Well, the mayor's deadline for a new budget is six months away, so it may be too early to tell if that means tax increases, layoffs, or reduction in services. But the comptroller claims this can hurt the city's credit rating right now. The rating agencies has warned us about this, of which I have conveyed this to the mayor each and every year. The rating agencies say when, it's, when it becomes a trend, which is not good, the, the term trend is not good in this particular case. It means the city is relying too much on its savings to balance the budget, and it's problematic. And Kevin Helfer with the city of Buffalo tells me there are a number of land sales that are pending so that when it comes in could possibly boost revenue numbers, but it's not clear exactly when that will happen. And it doesn't change the fact that there's only six and a half million dollars in reserves. So for that reason, we spoke to council members who say that they will be taking a very close look at the mayor's proposed budget come May 2018. Emily Lampa, Channel 2 News.